If you are looking for something that looks like Windows but is Linux or you are looking for Windows alternative that should look and feel like Windows but should be for free. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you are watching Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how to download and install Devlu Ubuntu which have Windows style interface. Based on Ubuntu LTS that has a similar appearance to Windows using open source theme. So without further ado, let's download and install it. Okay, so first thing here we need to do is we need to open this website which is wubuntu.org. Do not write .com, it's org. And not to worry guys, again I'm gonna provide you all these links in the description of this video. Let me actually open this link again because sometimes it asks for some kind of verification that I want to show you. Okay, so I was talking about this verification. So here you need to click on I am not a robot and then probably you may need to solve the puzzle. So solve this puzzle and then we are good to go. Okay, so here you will see two variants. The first one is Windows Ubuntu 11 Plasma. That is based on KDE Windows Manager, which provides highly customizable and feature-packed desktop. Another one is based on Cinnamon. So based on your need, you can go with any one of these. So in this particular one, I would like to go with this latest interface, which is based on Windows Ubuntu 11 Plasma. So let's click here on Download Free Edition. And now here you can download it. And there we go. From here, you need to download this ISO. So let's click on it. Now, based on your internet speed, it will take some time. And here we go. Here we can see the download process has begun. And now here we can see we have successfully downloaded this W Ubuntu Linux. Now, the next thing here we will do is we will start VMware. In case if you have not installed it yet or you would like to install VMware in your system, then I'm going to attach another video that shows you step by step how you can install VMware Workstation Player in your system for free. Now let's click here on File and then let's click on New Virtual Machine. And here we need to locate this disk. So I'm going to click here on Browse. Then I'm going to locate this disk image here that we have just downloaded. Now let's click on next. And then here you can put your detail here. So I'm going to put here technoholic and then you can create a username as well. And then you need to create password. Now let's click on next. And now here we can see the VMware is intelligent enough to detect the version. Let's click next again. And then here we have got these two options. Either we can create a single disk or we can split a virtual disk into multiple files. So based on your need, uh, you can go with any one. Um, I would like to go with the first option. And then here I can specify 40 gigabyte while recommended size for Ubuntu 64 bit is 20 gigabyte. So I would say it totally depends on your use case or your requirement or the free hard disk space you have. In my case, I do have enough free hard drive space that you can obviously check by visiting to your computer. And here I can see that I have got 241 gigs free space. So that's why I have defined 40 gigabyte for this. Now let's click on customize hardware. And from here, based on your system, you can specify the number of processor. Similarly, you can also play with all these settings as well. I also would like to increase the amount of RAM. So I'm going to give it 16 gigs out of 64 gigs. Again, I would say it totally depends on your system and how many gigabyte of memory is installed. Now let's click on close. Let's click on finish. Now here we can see we are booting Linux for the first time. And there we go. Even the animation look like Windows. That's so awesome. And there we go. We can see it looks almost like Windows. Be it a Microsoft Copilot or this particular button. It looks 
almost same now here yeah, let me click on install system let's click on next now um, we need to specify our country again let's click next the keyboard type now um, here we need to select our drive now I'm gonna go with erase disk and then let's click on next here we need to provide the detail of user let me type my name here and then you can also specify the PC name and the password and then you can also specify whether you would like to log in automatically without asking for the password and now click on install I really enjoyed the interface of this Ubuntu installer as this is pretty simple we started with a greeting or welcome then we selected location then we selected keyboard we decided on partition we defined the user now we are installing now let's wait for the installation process to get completed okay so here we can see we have completed the installation now let's click on done and probably it will restart our system and there we go we can see some of date message being arised but before that i also would like to change the screen size for that i need to go to system setting probably or i need to search for resolution okay so let's click on monitor setting yeah let me launch it now i'm gonna make this resolution as my native resolution which is 2560 by 1440 let's click on apply and there we go uh, we can see now my system turned full screen and let me now close this And there we go guys we have successfully installed a w ubuntu linux in our system and that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will see you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye